My name is Amit Rambia. I am uh, Managing Director of Panache Ji Life Limited. Panache Ji Life Limited is an ICT and IoT design to manufacturing you know, company. Uh, our design philosophy is based out of A, B, C, D of technology, where A is meaning artificial intelligence, B means big data, and C means connectivity or cloud you know, along with our solutions. And D is the devices which we manufacture. So I think these are the fundamental building blocks at which you know Panache is uh, you know designing products in India, and uh, our business models are you, you know from you know contract manufacturing, which is our you know client-led or OEM-led contract manufacturing, where our client provides our recipe, and we are doing our you know integration business, which is you know building the block as per the client recipes or the you know guidelines and the SOPs which are there, or we have our own designs in various sectors. So designs are coming from, you know, right from your education sector to your retail sector to, uh, I would say, AV sectors. So we're covering various sectors uh, in the industry where we have different, different solutions. And uh, we have also recently added more solutions towards AI, uh, edge AI and uh, industrial solutions. So I think this is... You know, I would say, okay, uh, when I grew up as a, you know, company and when we were, when start, we start, we all started, we did not have a lot of support. Okay, we, I'm a first generation entrepreneur. Uh, I'm myself an engineer, so I think uh, you know, and did my MBA from IIM Indore. So when I look at that background, uh, you know, we did not have much help. You know, in terms of the ecosystem, uh, there was lack of finances, there was lack of knowledge, there was lack of compliances. So we went through a lot of you know ups and downs. You know, to understand because the policy changes were happening continuously. So there are lots of instability. You know, into the industry which was there. Now I see the right timing is here. Government policies and everything is getting aligned. So it means the right team, you know, who wants to grow now or who wants to take off in the right way uh, can do something which I took maybe more than 20 years or 25 years. Uh, we can do that in next five years. So I think this is where I think we can help other companies. So now you can answer, you know, my, your, I can answer your question that if I take these 20 companies and probably build them, you know, very strong with my support and if they become listed, uh, you understand where Panash would be in, in future times. So as Panash 1.0, uh, we were, uh, you know, into, uh, you know, building, you know, products into India. We were already doing a business of manufacturing or design-led manufacturing in India from way back, you know, year 2017. So uh, we have been known in this industry for, you know, building, you know, blocks like thin clients, cloud devices, uh, point of sale devices, digital signage devices, and a lot of rugged and industrial devices also. This is what we have designed, you know, earlier. Not to say, but, uh, you know, the desktop computing and other, you know, the, I would say all-in-one PCs, desktop PCs, this all, you know, a bit of, you know, I would say this, this has been a journey where we have already designed this way back. Uh, now, when we look at Panas 2.0, uh, we are changing uh, the way in which the design is going to be led. Now, the design is going to be more intrinsic. So, earlier also we used to design from the India perspective, but now it's going to be India plus the world market. So, we're going to design for products from the India's perspective, which is selling into the Indian customers or the Indian brands. So, we are helping other Indian brands also to help them, you know, build products and solutions in India. And we are also focusing on how can we make these products in India for the world market. So I think that's where I think our Panas 2.0 journey is going to be much more interesting. We have two PLIs. Uh, we have IT hardware PLI and telecom hardware PLI. And uh, our product range definitely are spread across IT hardware and telecom space also. And we are seeing a lot of convergence happening in this space. And uh, I think very soon uh, we are filing more and more patents and IPs in this category. And once we have these IPs and patents you know, mature, we will be definitely releasing the products for the world market. When you look at the year, I would say in the early 2000, uh, where the search engine, you know, was very, very evident, you know, which was the advent of Google. So what did we see with the advent of Google or maybe Yahoo, which was earlier and then Google, when we look at it. So this was the era where the search, in, internet based search become much more mature. And now search has become a part of each and every person's life is what we, we all feel. So we don't think you know, we say nowadays, we when we go to internet, we say Google kar do, you know, is what we use as a word right now. But to ye shabd ye kahan se aaya, Google kar do, right? It is nothing but internet search which was happening. Now, this is the maturity at which last, I would say, two decades, we have been as users, we have used Google kar do or Google or internet in desktops, laptops, and then we migrated to phones. 
and then tablets are the devices you know we have gone into devices what we foresee you know when, when we start now with the ai journey we will start with you know platforms like chat gpt which is the cloud based you know solutions and then this chat gpt solutions will now come on the edge which is on the laptops which we are seeing all ai based you know devices coming in and then in the coming times we will see a combination of edge device which is your laptop plus a combination of edge server and this will become you know much more i would say intelligent living you know solution so it will not only be your personal living solution but first it will going to be more commercial application are going to be much more useful uh, now you'll ask me which all are the commercial application we are seeing advent or use case in commercial application in education which is much more helpful and then healthcare is one of the other areas to be looking at ai implementation retail is one of the other areas which is growing and we are seeing ai being implemented and i would say interactivity and ai is much more you know so the customer engagement is becoming much more uh, i would say live rather than you know you are doing one directional engagement which is earlier type of solutions which were there and nothing not not only this but now we are moving towards which was earlier m to m which was machine to machine which is the industrial ai which we look at it so aiot which is much more advanced right now so that is also going to be much more i would say powerful in terms of deployments in the coming time so with so i am very positive about the ai deployments uh, you know in the years to come so india is going to be one of the four leaders because we have not only the software capabilities which is one thing which we have done earlier but i think with software we have a best combination which is now hardware making india The so I, software solution. yeah so with now panash you know so what we have together is india has many software partners and software system integrators which we have been working for a very long time and now with this software companies we have developing now our edge ai solutions and our endpoint solutions and our edge server solutions which are going to be much more you know in demand in the coming time so we will be doing the pocs and deployments in the indian environment and then we will taking this pocs and the deployments from indian environment to the world market so we we are probably inviting with this medium i don't mind inviting more startups and more si partners who are into software development uh, how can we you know partner together and how can we build solutions of india and take these solutions for the world market so i think that's something which is an opportunity right now i see in the indian markets so this is a good question i would say uh, see india is a when you look at it as a overall consumption is a very price sensitive market okay and so when we say price sensitive it doesn't mean low cost it says price sensitive means value for that money works. i think that's very important for what we understand as a indian customer now when we look at price sensitive and value for money that means whatever solutions you know say uh, western world or mature markets are delivering say at x or maybe you know i would say uh you know they they are living at say 100 you know x or something like that we are able to deliver something between 5 to 10x of that you know uh, equivalent value proposition right? in terms of cost when you look at it because our scales are quite larger our deployment density is quite larger uh, so what we have noticed is india customers are very very sensitive in terms of deployment because scales are larger budgets are very very exhaustive and the deployment scale has to be you know much more wider space so i think that's where you know what we found out was uh, you know delivering solutions in india uh, we, we have to deliver which is you know the price points has to be very very uh, right and so we have to optimize you know, so that that's where comes the role of panas so we optimize the solution so when we say optimize you know we don't leave a hardware where you have a extra leverage of uh, you know extra space of either power wastage or cpu wastage or storage wastage so we optimize that hardware very well for the application which is designed okay and then we help you deliver the whole solution to the market so i think that's where so i i would say uh, you know uh, being a you know i would say listed entity you know uh, panash being a listed entity right now so i would not be able to answer you directly on this question but at the same time i will say you this way that you know as panash what we are looking forward is we want to engage with uh, i would say top i would say 20 select partners in india in different different verticals uh, you know we want to work with them and we want to make sure that these partners whom we work you know select 20 uh, from it say either it's a startup region or probably mid region which they started we want to make sure that when they work with us uh, we are able to handhold them and make them a public listed company so we are trying to see that you know how can we help a select few not everybody i can't work with unfortunately i can't work with everybody but i want to work with select few which 
definitely are focused and who want to seek say help or collaborating with people like us which is in the area of hardware and then we how can we work together to build that company from uh, a base level to a very highly compliant and respectable company so i think that's where we would like to contribute back in terms of our knowledge and our you know sh share back to the community so i, I would say uh, everybody in this industry should play on his strengths so nowadays i'm getting a lot of uh, you know uh, calls from partners and a uh, lot of uh, channel partners are calling us and coming and meeting us with us for doing say make in india desktops make in india thin clients make in india laptops which we are trying to help them but what i would advise you know because out of 10 partners who come here i typically uh, give advice of rejecting or probably giving nine partners saying this is something which you should not endeavor into the reason is uh, they are coming here just because they feel that uh, the ecosystem you know uh, they come for a short term you know uh, thinking which is there uh, but i would advise the my partner ecosystem to think long term because building a brand building a service network building a product road map building something which is quality okay it takes time it is something which is not happens tomorrow panash has definitely the recipe but we are also looking for the right partners who want to do that excellence okay and definitely want to make sure that they want to take this brand global and that's the winning position proposition i would say where we want to partner with you know the right partners who have that capability who need that extra support of a back end or you can say production support or supply chain support or i would say some bit of financing support also but we can work out a way where we all in the ecosystem can uh, grow each other and uh, you know probably make this as a very beautiful place under this make in india policy so this is a huge opportunity you know for the partner community and uh, i would uh, only urge that you know, this partner should uh, see their strengths okay uh, even if they have a smaller quantity requirements we don't mind helping them but at the same time the whole thing proposition which we are saying is the quality is the key if you are looking at quality if you are looking at sustainability if your customers are looking at you know your value proposition and services which you want to build upon i think this is where i think we all should come together and build uh, i think uh, you know localization products and that will help into nation building also and with that what we can get into opportunities we can get into opportunity of niche which is there and probably uh, you know one day somebody who is passionate enough i would say to make that brand you know focused you know if you study more european brands which were focused into quality you know some of the garments and some of the car brands which you look at it they have nothing but you know very focused on the quality which was there they are very small but then they grew when the opportunity is opened up for the world market they grew and they grew into countries which was there so now this is something which is the opportunity for india this is where indian brands who have focus into quality who have the legacy who want to make themselves grow into world market i think this is the opportunity for them to grow wonder for more information please visit www.ncnonline.net